Welcome back to our channel where we discuss everything about food safety in ISO 22000. Today we're exploring Clause 7.1 of ISO 22000, titled Support. This clause plays a vital role in ensuring that your food safety management system, or FSMS, operates effectively and is continually improved. We'll cover its key requirements, its importance, and tools you can use to comply. Let's get started. Clause 7.1 emphasizes that organizations must determine and provide the necessary resources for the establishment, implementation, maintenance, and continual improvement of their food safety management system. These resources include people, infrastructure, the work environment, and external services. Providing these resources demonstrates top management's commitment to food safety. The first resource covered is people. Every person involved in the food safety management system, from operators to external experts, must be competent to perform their roles effectively. Competence is not just about technical skills, but also about understanding food safety risks and adhering to good manufacturing practices. How to ensure compliance? Competency matrix. Create a matrix mapping roles and their required competencies. This ensures you identify skill gaps. Training programs. Regularly conduct training tailored to roles, such as hazard analysis and critical control point principles, good manufacturing practices, and hazard analysis techniques. Documentation. Maintain records of training, contracts, and agreements for external experts to prove their qualifications. Infrastructure encompasses buildings, land, equipment, hardware, software, and information technology. Each element must be fit for purpose and well-maintained to ensure the food safety management system operates seamlessly. Examples of infrastructure requirements. Dedicated storage facilities to prevent contamination. Appropriate equipment to monitor food safety parameters, such as thermometers and pH meters. IT systems for managing food safety documentation. Tools for compliance. Preventive maintenance schedules. Use maintenance software to schedule and log equipment checks. Calibration logs. Keep calibration records for all critical equipment. Infrastructure audits. Conduct periodic audits to ensure all facilities and equipment meet food safety requirements. The work environment includes physical, social, and psychological factors. A safe and supportive environment is essential for preventing errors and maintaining high food safety standards. What does this include? Physical environment. Ensure proper temperature control, hygiene, and ventilation in processing areas. Social environment. Promote a non-discriminatory and respectful workplace culture. Psychological environment. Address burnout, stress, and emotional well-being. Tools for compliance. Environmental monitoring programs. Measure and document workplace conditions like air quality and noise levels. Employee feedback surveys. Regularly collect feedback to address any work environment issues. Stress management workshops. Offer programs to support employees' mental health. Organizations often use externally developed elements in their food safety management system, such as prerequisite programs or HACCP plans. These must be developed according to ISO 22000 standards, tailored to the organization's processes and products, implemented, maintained, and updated as needed. Key tools to ensure compliance. Supplier audits. Verify that external providers meet the required standards. Document control systems. Maintain evidence of agreements and updates. Most organizations rely on external providers for raw materials, services, or even transport. Clause 7.1.6 outlines the steps to evaluate, select, and monitor these providers. Requirements include. Establishing clear contracts specifying food safety and GMP expectations. Monitoring providers to ensure ongoing compliance. Documenting all evaluations and re-evaluations. Examples. For transportation services, contracts should specify temperature controls and cleanliness standards. For pest control, ensure the contractor follows your facility's PRPs. Tools for compliance. Approved supplier list. Maintain a list of verified providers. Performance tracking software. Use software to monitor supplier KPIs. Accredited laboratories. For third-party testing, ensure labs comply with ISO 17025 or equivalent standards. Clause 7 requires that all processes, 
resources, and evaluations are well documented. This ensures traceability and accountability. Documentation examples. Contracts with external providers. Competency records for internal and external personnel. Infrastructure maintenance and calibration logs. Tools to manage this efficiently. Document management systems. Software like SharePoint or Google Workspace can help maintain and organize records. Version control tools. Ensure the latest versions of documents are accessible to everyone. Clause 7.1 of ISO 22000 is all about ensuring your food safety management system has the resources it needs to function effectively. From competent people to robust infrastructure, a healthy work environment, and controlled external services, every element plays a critical role. By implementing the tools and techniques we discussed today, you can not only comply with the standard, but also enhance your organization's food safety culture. Remember, food safety is everyone's responsibility, and it begins with providing the right support. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into ISO 22000 and food safety management.